Healing Art with Henry. Woohoo! Welcome to another episode of Healing Art with Henry. I'm Henry, and this is Healing Art. Thanks for coming today. And thanks for watching this. Uh, today, we're going to take a journey together. And what I mean by that is I'm going to pull a Radical Abundance card uh, out of the Radical Abundance deck. And it's my Oracle style deck. And I'm going to pull a card out. And that's what we're going to theme today's uh, painting on and what we're going to talk about. So the card I drew is Awareness. And we're going to take a little awareness journey together today. For me, awareness is really about uh, being in the present moment. I think what I'm going to do is uh, paint some background first. So how do we get into the present moment so we can experience awareness? For me, what I do is it's kind of like a, a check-in. So like if I can just for a quick second uh, during the day, if I can just check in with um, what, what I'm feeling inside of myself or a feeling inside of myself, maybe it's even like a feeling of pain or something like uh, maybe my uh, shoulder hurts or something and I just pay attention to it and I just pay attention to one thing for a little while. And, and give it attention and I'm suddenly transported to the, the moment. And another way that's classical is by breathing. And breathing is so wonderful because when we slow our breathing down, we're aware of our breathing and we pay attention to it. We are transported right to the present moment. Breathing in with our nose as we breathe in. We feel the air pass through our nostrils and that air flow that's happening. We just kind of focus in on that. And as we breathe out, we kind of do the same thing. We just focus on the feeling of the air in our nostrils. And that's it. So today I'm going to paint somebody meditating. It's weird because even when I just paint somebody meditating, it puts me into a meditative 
state. And right now I like how this wash is working with his body instead of his uh, instead of the background. So I'm gonna change the background. I'm gonna go like a real deep, a deep red with the background. And I'll leave the the wash that I created as his body. Oh, awareness is so many other things besides just meditation too. Just besides just becoming aware of ourselves and what's happening with ourselves. There is a big part of it about just like tapping in and finding our original kind of nature, our, our real, our real self, our real uh, inner compassionate being that's who we were as when we were born. And that's a really important part of awareness. But another part of awareness is um, education, educating ourselves and learning more about the, the world we live in. So monks meditating has always been a big part of my work. And it comes out of this experience that I had when I lived in Thailand and I worked in a monastery with Burmese refugees. And when I was there, I started painting them. And so really when I'm painting this symbol, I'm thinking about my friends there that I met. And I think about the life lessons that they taught me. But while I was there, I was learning about that from them just kind of naturally. But the real work I was doing there was I was helping them write their life stories so they could get refugee status. And I was translating with a, or with a translator who knew English and Burmese, I was able to translate their stories to me. And then I would, um, in really kind of broken English, and I would have to kind of fill in the gaps and figure it out uh, to uh, help write their life story so that they could um, submit that to the government. And so that was kind of the work I was doing. And so awareness for me in that situation, I was really like learning about global issues and uh, learning about the plight of the, the Burmese people and the stuff that they are still going through and uh, were going through very heavily at that time. So how, you know how often that we feel like we're still a kid, that sometimes we're like, oh yeah, I feel a lot younger than my age. Uh, I feel like I'm, oftentimes I feel like I'm an eight year old or something. Um, and it's, it's not that I feel like an eight year old, it's just when I was eight, I was truly just being my self. And then when I'm just being myself at this age, it feels the same. And so I feel like an eight year old, but truly I'm just feeling like my true self. And that doesn't change that, that like that is always there for me. Awareness is really uh, the experience. The experience of awareness is very synonymous with listening. When you're listening, even listening, like truly listening to someone else talk and what they're saying, and kind of get in that like frame of mind where we're not thinking about what we're going to say next and we're, we're listening. 
That's the same feeling of awareness. What gets in the way of ourselves being in touch with ourselves, being in touch with our in our world and our environment and what gets in the way of us being aware of the person that we're with in whatever moment we're with them I know one of my things is a cell phone is often some place I go to to where I lose the awareness of who I'm communicating with. And I could be in a conversation with somebody and I really care about what they're saying and I still sometimes grab my phone and check it. Check uh, stuff on there because I got all these things happening and I want to make sure all the parts are moving right. And I often neglect the gift that's right in front of me because of that. And so it's kind of about like just being really honest with ourselves and thinking about what our distractions are, how we distract ourselves from experiencing the moment, like experiencing what's happening right in our own. Day-to-day -day life. I really enjoy hiking. I enjoy going for hikes and I get out in the woods. Sometimes my ambition of getting enough exercise in and getting to where my destination is can override seeing things and experiencing things along the hike. And so as an avid hiker, I have to remind myself to slow down so I don't miss the real reason I'm out in the woods. And the real reason I go out there is because it slows my mind down and I'm able to see things clearly. When I'm watching a stream, When I'm watching any moving water or even still water, my mind kind of matches that water. You ever just do nothing for 15 minutes? Like nothing. not even talking about meditating. I'm just talking about not like actually do nothing. It's an interesting exercise. Like set your kitchen timer for 15 minutes and you know, perch up on your couch. And don't do anything for 15 minutes. Amazing how much the mind wants to get us active again, get us distracted again. We spend so much time trying to repair our mistaken self.
But when we really find ourself, we really feel the essence of childhood wonder, our true self of who we really are before the world got to us. It's in us all, it's still all there. That childhood wonder is always there. And when we experience that childhood wonder, we realize there is no mistake about who we are. There's nothing to fix. There's nothing to change. There's nothing to fix. We're perfect. All of us are perfect. We've just been sold a bill of goods that we're not. And the people who sold us the bill of goods that we're not, they were also sold the bill of goods that they're not. And they want us to get in line. It's not really their fault. It's been something that's being passed down for since the beginning of humanity. And in different times, it escalates more than others. But as your true self, as your true self, you are perfect as you are. You do enough and you have enough and you are enough. You are love and compassion. And you are wonder. And you are awareness. And thanks again for joining me on Healing Art with Henry. And I hope you find your awareness. I hope you find that you are the awareness. See you next time.